Having a hard time remembering all the high-yield autosomal recessive disorders? No worries, we got you. No tricks here, just a quick treat that we hope you enjoy. With that said, it's time for trick-or-treating. But before I grab my goodie bag and start pumping your brain with names of diseases, here's a neat method to correctly guess the mode of inheritance for a particular genetic disorder if all else fails. In general, enzyme deficiencies are typically autosomal recessive, whereas the structural disorders tend to be autosomal dominant. Furthermore, autosomal recessive disorders typically present in childhood, and the signs and symptoms are more severe than dominant disorders. There are some exceptions to this rule, but this is a good starting point. All right, so here's a list of the most common autosomal recessive disorders that you'll likely encounter on test day. Again, we won't be covering them in detail for this sketch, but if you'd like more information about a specific disease, refer to the corresponding lesson as shown here. And on that note, let's see what's going on in the neighborhood. Wait a sec. Ugh, there's Chad again, hiding in the manhole, being a butthole. What? I can't say butthole? Yeah, anyway. Let's not get distracted here. On to the diseases. We'll start with Al Captainuria, depicted here by Al the Captain giving out candy. Next is Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, represented by the double A trimming work van. Then there's ataxia telangiectasia. This is caused by defects in the ATM gene. And what better way to show that than this kid dressed up as an ATM machine? Is this a good time to tell him about inflation? And if that doesn't make any sense, <laughs> I'm sure these copper coins will, so picture them for Wilson's disease. All right, let's head back to Al's place. Let these balloons in the shape of a kidney remind you of autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease. And see the jolly Saint Bernard? That's our symbol for Bernard Solier. Good puppy. Now on to rapid ninja mode. Here's a ninja Higashi for Shidiak Higashi, sappy tree branches for cystic fibrosis, and this good times license plate for glansman thrombasthenia. Okay, so just to hammer this point home, as we mentioned earlier, enzyme deficiencies are typically autosomal recessive. Recall that metabolic diseases usually result from an enzyme deficiency. Examples include the disorders of galactose and fructose metabolism. Looks like this neighbor won't win the popularity contest anytime soon. There's also the glycogen storage disorders, represented by the storage box filled with cotton candy. Man, quit hiding all the good stuff. Moving on, we've got Friedrich Ataxia. And there's Frank, keeping a close eye on his little sister. Way to go, Frank. Your fraternity brothers would be proud. All right, back to rapid ninja mode. Picture this heart-shaped hearty turnip for heartnip disease, an iron doorstop for hemochromatosis, a yellow billy goat for the hereditary hyperbilirubinemias, and a hurling ghost for hurler syndrome. There's also Cartagener syndrome, shown here by this ice cream cart, and A-beta lipoproteinemia, depicted by the logo of a hot air balloon dropping a beta anchor. We also have maple syrup urine disease, denoted here by the maple syrup. This big-eyed albino owl is our symbol for oculocutaneous albinism, the fennel keys for PKU, and this sickle for sickle cell disease. To remember the sphingolipidoses, here's a sphinx cat roaming around the neighborhood. And just a heads up, all the sphingolipidoses are autosomal recessive except Fabry disease, which is X-linked recessive. On to the thalassemias, illustrated here as a kid dressed up as a bishop, because why not? Anyway, his trick-or-treating chalice is our recurring symbol for thalassemias. And finally, we've reached the last autosomal recessive disorder, xeroderma pigmentosum, illustrated here as a vampire hastily throwing on XP sunblock. Because when you're a vampire, you can't be too careful. Well, this night will never be forgotten. At least not until after the shelf exam. So let's quickly regurgitate the information once again. The autosomal recessive disorders include alcaptonuria, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, ataxia telangiectasia, Wilson's disease, autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease, bernard Solier, shidiak higashi syndrome, cystic fibrosis, Glansman thrombasthenia, the disorders of galactose and fructose metabolism, glycogen storage disorders, Friedrich's ataxia, heartnip disease, hemochromatosis, hereditary hypobilirubinemias, Hurler syndrome, Cartagener syndrome, A beta lipoproteinemia, maple syrup urine disease, oculocutaneous albinism, PKU, sickle cell disease, the sphingolipidoses, except Fabry disease, 
thalassemias, and xeroderma pigmentosum.